Hey right, guys, I'm uh, sorry if the webcam looks a little crooked. I'm, uh, and I also apologize for a lot of the delays that have been happening on Twitch. Uh, the truth is, is that I'm, uh, I, I mentioned this before, but I'm, uh, I'm back in May. My dad passed away, and I'm uh, still kind of going through a lot of the things. Sorry. Um, uh, but like now, earlier today, about about twenty minutes ago, I'd say, actually not not even. Um, uh, I tried to stream Card Shock again, which, if you don't know, I was streaming that game. But the last time I streamed it was in late May, and I did the four job fiesta, and then we had some delays, like I'm um, uh, going on holiday, which I'm um, uh. Hmm. It was pretty good. Um, uh, and then there was um, uh, like kitchen fitters who were really bad at their jobs. They took up some of the weekends, so I couldn't stream with all the noise in the background. And then my webcam broke, so I've got a new one, which is why it's a little bit crooked. But it's also... Hang on, let me show you. It's also been standing on top of this Mario figurine that I've got. I should actually just get straight up a regular box, something flat. Now I need to rearrange this. Um, uh, so yeah, so I, um, uh, I was streaming Card Shark, and I discovered something that was a little bit disturbing, and that is some. Uh, the game doesn't reteach you its mechanics, at least to the degree that it does when you first learn them. And. As far as I'm aware, I couldn't find the means um, uh, to figure out how to relearn them. Because um, uh, where I was, I didn't have enough money to um, uh, get um, uh, to a new location. So I had to go to one of the areas where, to grind for money. And because the um, uh, cheat options are um, uh, randomized, and they don't teach you... Well, they don't reteach how to do it besides the basic instructions... I kept losing more money. So unfortunately, I'm at a point now where I think the only way for me to continue Card Shark at this point is to start again. And I'll be honest, I'm, uh, I'm not really looking forward to that. In fact, I may actually... I may actually just pull the plug on Card Shark in general and just um, move on from there. Because to be honest, like I, I was really hyped for that game, but I think the biggest problem that Card Shark has with me is that it's too mentally exhausting. Because it is a, it's for lack of a better description, a stress game. Because you have to be quick, you have to be precise. It it requires a lot of mental energy in order to do it. And. To be frank, I am uh, I don't really have that in me. So, and it's the main reason why like I think the only two parts of it, the only two like sessions I've done have been shorter because I've been feeling more drained as a result. So I think it's for the best I just um uh, I don't know. I might go back to it, but at the same time it's really not a priority. I think it, I think Card Shark is just one of those games where I'm, uh, it's better to just play it by yourself rather than streaming. Because I think I'm, uh, the stress of trying to play that game on top of um, uh, trying to um, uh, like commentate. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I did like the game and I've been enjoying the story for it, but it's like I've, I've spent so many months away from it that I barely remember most of the story. And because I can't remember any of the cheats, and from what I can tell, the game won't tell me, um, won't reteach me the cheats. If it does, I haven't found it. Um, uh, so it's like I I spent like the last twenty minutes, I'd say. Um, uh, just trying to reteach the game to myself and failing miserably. Because again, nothing was coming back to me. With the exception of like one cheat, which I was really good at. But again, the randomizer doesn't let you... Well, 
<laughs> and the randomizer I'm gonna give you a select free, free at random, and it kept not showing up. So I've decided that I think it might be for the best. I just pull the plug on the game. Now there is another update I want to give. Um. Uh, so some of the, that's been happening on Twitch with me as of late is that I'm a Twitch has been relatively uncooperative with me when it comes to certain points, like, because there was just a massive long period where I wasn't allowed to edit the title of my own, of my own Twitch things. Um, uh, in addition, I'm uh, downloading the um, uh, VODs and re-uploading to YouTube. Like, I get tired, and because uploading VODs to YouTube take takes a while, I I put it off. So I'm actually thinking about um uh, moving from Twitch and just going to YouTube instead because I'm uh, I have a larger following on YouTube than I do on Twitch. All of my live streams go on YouTube. And to top it off, like YouTube just generally feels a bit more cooperative. Give or take. Or at least I haven't noticed any. Or at least I haven't noticed any nuisances when it comes to like on my Twitch's settings. So, I, I'm gonna once again give streaming another skip, and I'm gonna like, I'm uh, I'm gonna like see if I can set up a. I'm gonna see if I can like reset my stuff to to start streaming on YouTube instead. Because I'm uh when I stream on YouTube, well I'm uh I'm gonna stream on YouTube. Um, those videos are automatically on YouTube the day I'm done, the moment I'm done. So to me, just streaming on YouTube feels like cutting out the middleman. Especially since that like I take so long to like take the vods from from Twitch to YouTube, which wasn't the case before. I was I was pretty vigilant on it. But I think um, uh, when my workload on DeviantArt started to increase, and um, uh, <laughs> and um, uh, some real life stuff getting in the way, I uh, think that's what's happened. Like I, I just like I, I think what it was is that streaming has become a bit less fun for me. I, I think there was a point where I was trying to take it too seriously, trying to get monetized, and it just wasn't working out. I don't know. Um, uh, but I think I'm going to start streaming on YouTube from now on. I'm going to, like, fiddle with the settings and see how it works. I may bring back um, uh, the thumbnails as well, because, like, if you've noticed a card shark, um, uh, like, I didn't have any thumbnails. But I think it, that was just, like, the exception to the rule. Because the full draft for yesterday, but I have... But I, I have those thumbnails saved, and I can edit them anytime I want. So it wasn't that difficult to essentially replay a game <laughs> and to make a thumbnail for a game I've already played quite a few times, actually. <laughs> All right. So one minor, one nice thing. I'm. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to be streaming next. I'm. Uh, but I think I'm going to be leaning towards um, uh, playing Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory. Which um, uh, that, it, which has been a game I've been playing in my own time, so it's fresh in my memory. And it's a game I have a lot of fun with, and I've been becoming more of a... I, I've been becoming more of a Digimon fan as of late, because like, um, uh, I think it was like the mid to late 2000s, I sort of dropped off it. And then... When I started playing Digimon Survive, it re-sparked everything I loved about it, and I ended up becoming more of a Digimon fan than Pokemon. Doesn't mean I'm not going to be playing Pokemon games, but with my DS broken, I'm uh, I'm going to need I'm either going to need to resort to emulators or buy a new capture device, which ugh, it is pretty expensive. But anyway, I'm uh, I just wanted to provide an update on this, and I'm um, uh, uh, so yeah I'm. Um, I'm going to be prioritizing Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth as the next game I'm going to stream. It's going to—it's a beefy game, but I 
think it, it, it will be something that I'll be enjoying more often. But we'll see what happens. I'm, uh, so we'll say this. If I do decide to stream uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, to any uh, Digimon fans out there, if you want to recommend a Digimon for me to give a try, uh, just mention it in the comments below and I'll um, uh, take a look at it. Obviously, it has to be something in the game. No mods. Um, uh, so yeah, right now the only suggestion I've been given was to have Lilithmon, which, um, uh, yeah, I can do that. Um, uh, <laughs> and there are definitely some Digimon that I want to use, but obviously I also want to accept as many suggestions as I can get and see if I can work with them, because I'll be playing two major Digimon RPGs back, um, uh, one after the other. But anyway, um, uh, um, that's all I've got for um, uh, this vlog. Uh, once again, I apologize for the lack of streaming, but we'll see how it goes when I start streaming on YouTube from now on. And if things don't work out, I'll provide another update saying that I'll be streaming on Twitch again. But I don't think I'm going to be making an announcement. If I do leave Twitch, I don't think I'll be making any sort of announcements because the only chat I get are bots trying to advertise me shit. And it's like... You know, that's not really interactive. But anyway, I'm, uh, I better get going now. <laughs> uh, thank you, and um, uh, take care.